Hello and welcome to day 4 of launch week. Today I'm going to show you the Terraform modules we created for GCP, Azure and AWS. I'm going to walk you through the deployment of LangFuse on GCP using one of the modules. For this purpose, I've cloned a repository to my local machine and will now go through the steps to get a live LangFuse deployment. I've modified the quick start to set my own custom domain and now I'll walk through the first steps. I authenticated my gcloud client and I set the region and the project that I want to deploy into. I've made sure that all the required APIs are enabled and now I'll start by initiating my Terraform workspace and then applying the DNS zone and the Kubernetes cluster. With the init done, I can now apply the first resources. This will take up to five minutes, so we'll make a cut here and see you once they are here. With the DNS zone and our cluster in place, we can now proceed with the creation. Let us delegate the domain to the DNS zone before we continue. For this purpose, we're going to extract the name servers and then set them in our DNS provider. I'm just going to do it for one DNS name. For production environment, you should do it for all to ensure high availability. I'm going to Cloudflare, which contains our DNS, and then create a new namespace record. This is for the GCP LangFuse dev subdomain, and I'm going to take the value that I've just copied. Once I've saved the value, I can go back to Terraform and continue with the apply. Before you apply a plan, ensure that you check the plan and confirm that only expected resources are included. I know that 26 resources are meant to be created, so I can proceed. This will take another roughly 15 to 20 minutes, so see you after the cut. With all the plans finished, let's explore what the module created. For this purpose, we're going to navigate into the Google Cloud Console and explore the different services that are in use. Let's start with Cloud Storage. In here, we expect exactly one bucket to be created, which is the GCP LangFuse dev. This is the domain that you've used, hyphen LangFuse, which is the deployment name. In here, we don't have any resources yet, which is expected. The next resource that we will look at is the memory store for Redis. Here we created a cluster with a capacity of one gigabyte, TLS and auth enabled. The last major component is the Cloud SQL database that exposes the Postgres interface and is used by our services. Finally, we have our Kubernetes cluster that contains the LangFuse view services and ClickHouse. We can see that within the workload section that we have the LangFuse web container, the worker, Zookeeper for ClickHouse, and a single shard with three pods. With all resources in place, let's try if we can already access our domain. For this purpose, let's open the domain that we configured. We see that currently the connection is still being rejected, which is expected given our known issues. The Google Certificate Manager may take up to 24 hours to provision a certificate, and while that is in progress, you won't see anything here. We can check the progress by navigating to the Certificate Manager within the Google Cloud Console and selecting Classic Certificates. Once this goes into provisioning, we will be able to access LangFuse on the domain that we configured. To recap, we used the Terraform module to deploy multiple entities, including a Redis cluster, a Postgres database, a Google Cloud Storage, Kubernetes cluster, the LangFuse container, and ClickHouse on Kubernetes using the module. All this with a couple of commands and a couple of minutes wait time. Once the apply is complete, we will have to wait for the certificates, usually up to 20 minutes, for the domain to be available. Once that is the case, you can start using LangFuse as expected.